as we get this next match Three, up and running. Two, one, go! So far, just throwing out footsie games and MPG trying to pursue with a grab after that fair. Not finding anything afterward, but still relatively on top. Going to be able to muscle right through those uh, pellets. And the leaf shield going to provide a little bit of more uh, disturbance for Slushy as he pursues in off stage, like we saw, uh, like he said with Yoda Cage. Uh, Yoda Cage, uh, sorry. I'm just used to calling Yoda Cage because it's Bowser Jr., but Bowser Jr. can be a menace off the side of the stage, especially with that recovery. And uh, he showed that he could be very pursuant al alone. 102 so far, chalk up. MVP has to create a big effort in order to get back. 68 trying to pressure, trying to find the shield, just throws in his face that time. Spins out, but again, Sweshy playing that mid game so well. Knowing that Mega Man's gonna throw out all those projectiles, but MG finally gets a foothold. And wow, you're gonna use my dog? No! You get slammed down for that. And again, the back air. Oh my gosh, that down air again on stage, off stage. It is just a clincher. Great job for MBG to muscle out the first stock after Slushy was on top and now makes it even. At least performance wise, Slushy was on top, but MPG again showing why he is certainly one to be feared in the later bracket. Persistence, name of the game for him. Now MPG playing a little bit of that mid-game too. Great little uh, drops there combo. Footstool. 102, Slushy trying to find a little uh, hard to adapt to this new playstyle. And gets beaten out by the charge shot. Slushy started to play a little bit more of the mid-game and MPG wasn't ready for it at the beginning, but he seems to have adapted to that very well by playing the same game in the zone. Fleshy. Again, struggling to find some way to get a combo started on this Mega Man. Spins out, going to leave him vulnerable on that right, left side, rather. But he can't find the uh, Flame Sword connection. He needs another Leaf Shield combo. Great parry and able to stay right, uh, right underneath him as well. And I love how MBG just cancels that uh, that rush hop into either Leaf Shield or any uh, special move. Very unexpected, uh, just going to get beaten out there in terms of recovery. But still well on top, especially with that double Cyclone. Sweshy is going to have to climb a mountain in order to claim this one, but a mistimed smash will leave him vulnerable to that MPG back air that he has been been notorious, at least for tonight, as well as his other appearances, going to claim that first one because of it. On to game two, we'll see how Swashy adapts. Running right back though to PS2. Running right back to Bowser Jr. All right, character adaptation has to be in play here for him. We'll see how the mid game can come through for Swashy. Or will history repeat itself? Will MBG be advancing on? Not a whole lot of pellets, because I maybe MBG was fearing the overuse of the cart, and we saw before that the cart uh, will basically nullify any stagger effect or any uh, stunting of Bowser Jr. But he's using it a little bit more. But again, just the barrage of both in, uh, up close and far away gameplay is why Mega Man is one to be feared, especially in the hands of MPG, just going on a tirade over Bowser Jr. And so far, Swashy not finding a response. Great parry, great uh, reaction time as well from MPG. And again, MPG very, you know, showing that he's going to play that mid to far game, but. He can also just change the paradigm quickly and just instead go for the close-up. I wonder if that Crash Bomb can ever latch onto the, uh, the Clown Car if it ever drops. I don't think it would, because that would be... Yeah, now that I think about it. 
we saw it stick to there in terms of where it was on the model, but like in terms of just getting it off of Bowser Jr. so he doesn't take the damage, I don't think that would be, you know, I think that could be exploited, essentially. So, trying to go for some Zair Fear here as he keeps that middle blade in hand. Stunted out the up smash, if I believe. Uh, if I was, uh, if my eyes are correct here. And again, just on top. Once MPG finds recognition, he will go full out. And Sweshy on his, his heels right now. Trying to find some off-stage option, but again, MPG just able to skirt around it. The up smash finally coming through for him. Getting 2-1 on the board. But with a fresh Mega Man, again, it is just all that more fearsome to get interactions in. Dash attack, setting up the uh, Metal Blade again. Gets nullified by the down air, trying to pursue some combo, only gets two hits out of it. Sleshy, you gotta be very careful with these next interactions as a combo comes in for MPG. 69% looking to get maybe a sure you can coming in. No, I was looking, I was he stuck so close, but then again, the MPG tried and true back air. So quick, so deadly. And that'll be the bow tie on MPG Mega Man advancing on in this tournament tonight. Just a flood of options that Bowser Jr. really couldn't get around. Mega Man being so versatile with his both close up game and far away. He can just, he can do it all. And really it's just that off stage that he's relatively, uh, I mean, if your percents are even, he can try and throw out a, you know, a fair or a barren. He's using attack, which is in his wheelhouse, but if he's on the retreat, that's where you have to go after him. But MPG was on top of that for basically the entire two rounds. Maybe like the, the first stock Swashy had on, but again, MPG had great uh, adaptation for it. And we're gonna move on to our next set. Bonk versus Yoda Cage. Yet again, a return of another Bowser Jr. Going up against Meta Knight, though. He's going to have a... Uh, Bowser Jr. is going to have a lot more trouble. Just because... Both characters are combo-reliant, but Meta Knight gets so much more out of it. He has so much more aerial cover.